everyone welcome to business 461 production operations management chapter 4 forecasting and there is only one thing that's correct about forecasting and that is forecasting is always wrong so uh, forecasting tries to determine what's going to happen in the future and as you know that we cannot really uh, fortune tell the future but we will try to make our best estimation using sometimes the historical data that we call the time series and also sometimes if there is no historical data available as you are going to read from the textbook there are some other uh, decision making uh, processes for example Delphi and some other methods so please read the, the chapter but in this video I'm just going to provide you some information about the uh, the time series analysis as we all know that the history repeats itself and uh, if let's just try to see how history repeats itself from a website so you know that the, the demand patterns are very uh, much uh, correlated with the the search patterns and people who search on Google Google keeps track of those searches and just turns them into a search volume index and uh, they keeps them on in trends.google.com and if I just go to trends.google.com and just wanted to search how for example if uh, someone is looking for uh, gift ideas okay so if I just search for gift ideas and okay so Google don't do that to me Okay, it's coming so interest over time look at this since 2012 the information is provided uh, people are looking for gifts sometime in February yes you name it Valentine's Day and then sometime in May sometime in June as you can see May is always larger than June why is that because Mother's Day you probably buy more gifts than Father's Day right okay and then February and then the biggest gift ideas are sometime in Christmas so as you, you are seeing that the history is repeating itself and uh, the companies who are uh, focused on um, selling the, the gift products they would just uh, determine their demand levels maybe by looking at this this data and uh, one more thing for example let's just ignore the gift ideas and add a search term and not none of these not a Pokemon no um, maybe a lawnmower it's not a time for a lawnmower but I think today uh, this is just causing the trouble okay um, I don't know why it's doing this and I have to search for a snowblower okay let's just try this one more time okay it's coming okay as you can see uh, and we would just want to look at the can US not Canada Every time I okay, so uh, the blue one is the lawnmower. So people are more interested in purchasing a lawnmower than a snowblower because uh, every week at least you have to just uh, cut your lawn. But the snowblower is needed some certain times, and it's also correlated with some snowstorms. But mostly in the in the winter time, right? and this is sometimes starting the peaks at some time in April and if if a company is producing a lawnmower let's say Toro and Toro also produces snowblowers why because they want to keep their production level consistent and they could just know that the people are going to be interested in purchasing snowblowers or lawnmowers in certain time periods 
and they also know the, the quantities that they have to produce so they make their plans, they are forecasting for the future as you can see it's always about the same but sometimes for some years it's more search than the other years maybe it's also related to the temperature and some other factors as well so it's it's a good idea to uh, look at the historical data for your co company uh, for example then your sales you may have some seasonal effects like this or you may have some let's say uh, cycles of this this are kind of cycles and the seasonal effects are for the gift ideas and also if I just search for example if people are uh, interested in let's say McDonald's okay or fast food and as you can see here there is no trend or people are not searching for McDonald's in the summertime there is about steady trend in the, in the search of McDonald's and you're seeing that different countries and you can focus on the US only and what kind of uh, McDonald's uh, related uh, searches are made and for example McDonald's near me may be a better uh, search query for McDonald's because McDonald's could be anything right uh, but if I search Burger King it also has a similar pattern and you you could just do this yourself and um, the the bottom line of the idea is you are going to see some mathematical time series models in this uh, chapter and if there's no trend or there is no seasonality you are going to be using moving averages weighted moving averages exponential smoothing as your methods there are some other methods as well but uh, for us uh, this is sufficient and most companies are using this uh, similar measures and uh, another one is if there's a trend there is linear trend if there is trend and seasonality then there's a trend and seasonality model and then there are also some very high level uh, forecasting models as well so the next video is going to be on uh, using some of these methods using Excel so please uh, watch them and complete the Excel file thanks for watching